baseball and throw. But right now I'm gonna, I'm gonna get off. I'm getting off subject. Let me get down on my knee. So make sure they're all lined up towards the um. And we set. We break this up into three groups. This is one. Face your partner. Head on your target. This is two. On two we go down, back, up. So right here, this is a two position. We make sure that the elbows are in the correct position when we're in this two position. This front elbow is pointing towards my target. Younger kids, you might just want to tell them to point their glove to their um, to their target, okay? Never want to have them thrown with their chest facing this way. Always want to be in this power position when they're getting ready to throw, right here. you'll notice the ball is facing away from the body. Right. You don't want to let people do this. You want to get behind your body, so of course you become over the top and get that good spin. A lot of times if you throw here, you end up shot putting it or throwing the start. I'll make sure they get the ball behind them. So we do checks when they're in this position. So when they're in this one position, I make sure they do their check so everything's pointing at target. Um, I go slow motion for this one. Down, back, up. I say the matrix, but most of the kids don't know what the matrix is. <laughs> I just say slow motion. So they get their elbows right here. Make sure their elbow's in the correct position. Make sure their head is in the correct position. I tell them to look back at their hand. Make sure they see their knuckles and not the palm of their hand. Make sure they see their knuckles. They gotta get that ball turned around here, all right? On three, we slow motion to three as well. All right, we rotate. My elbow does not drop at all. My integrity of my elbow stays up through my motion. I face my target. Leads the baseball out in front of my face. My glove is tucked into my glove, not down here. All right, we want to stay compact. If this glove, if this front half is doing this, the back half is going to do the same thing. All right, we want to be equal, opposite the whole time. Like this. All right, I'm gonna throw the baseball. One, two, three. Another thing I like to tell the kids in this position is show your chest. Hide your chest. Show your chest. Finish. Hide your chest. All right, that's another thing I like to tell the kids. It, it sticks in them. Also, tucking their glove, they don't understand that they have to tuck their glove every time. So, two things I like to say in tucking their glove is love, love. Have your glove close to your heart, okay? Or tuck it like a chicken wing right here. It's like a little chicken wing here when, they, when they're tucking their glove. It sticks to their, in their head and they do it every time. If you, if you uh, have to be fun and creative with kids sometimes for them to get it, all right? There's a lot of things in baseball do never assume that they know the simple things because they don't. They don't. They go right over their head. For the glove, see what I like to tell my kids? So when you're in this position, pretend that there's a mirror in your glove. So you want to check yourself? against it just like when you hit or when you pitch you need to push against your, your opposite side so if I'm just kind of loose and lazy here this is going to be loose and lazy if I'm really tight and push off against the side I'm going to throw the ball a lot further all right so once we graduate from we throw about 10 balls down here man once we graduate from that I want to say graduate the next day stand up when you, when you talk to the kids make sure you tell them not to be flat footed all right athletes are not flat footed Knees are not hard, they're always soft in any position that you're in. So these are soft knees and I'm on the balls of my feet right here. So right here my feet are like stuck in cement or mud. I can't move them right now. Ten throws from here, same count. One, two, elbows in the right spot, three, finish. I my chest when I do it, okay? All right, so it's one, two, three, all right? That's the second progression. Next progression is the most, I'd say one of the most important ones is because it's the power position, all right? So when we're in the power position, say this is my target. I'm, I'm throwing to her, this is my target, so I'm gonna have my glove closest to my target. All right, in this power position, we, we get them here. Again, soft knees on the balls of your feet, right here. Try to keep it simple for the kids. They lean forward, rock their weight forward, one. On two, separate. They get the elbows up, same thing they did on the knee. We're just standing up now, and on three, Rotate, pivot on your back foot, release the baseball out in front of your face. Y'all got that? Now tell the kids this is the most important position because look, if I'm in the outfield, I catch a fly ball, I catch a fly ball, come through, croak hop, where am I, what am I in? The power position, I'm a shortstop, right here, get the ball. What position am I in before I throw the baseball? The power position, I'm a pitcher, about to deliver a pitch. What position am I in before I throw it? 
the power position. So you make sure that they are in the correct power position, that their weight is shifting forwards and backwards during, um, during this time, all right? Last thing that we like to tell them, did they say two minutes? Yep. Last thing we like to tell them, all right, after they do the power position, just step into your throws, all right? If I'm throwing to her, if that's my target, I need to take two steps before I step into my target. Also, a lot of kids want to throw and step backwards because that's the way they're going. That's that lazy stuff. That, that, that's, that's, not, that's not coach that. That's not encourage that. I'm throwing to her. One, two, step, throw. I need to follow her. All right? I need to follow my throws at all times when I'm throwing the baseball. And if you'll notice, is if you're right-handed, and what she is, is right hook gets sideways, which allows his hip to get open and throw. Anytime we throw, if I'm building a ground ball, I want to feel left, right. I'm sorry. I want to feel. I want to feel uh, right, left, and throw right. I'm sideways and left. Right. So make sure you have that right foot sideways, and we're training that. Another good thing about throwing, um, and you could start this with young kids. The earlier you do it, the better. But it'll be like my taught your little kids. When you're receiving the ball, uh, you want to tell them to get the ball out of the glove as fast as possible. A lot of times, kids catch the ball and they take like 10 minutes to get it out and get set and throw. That can't happen. They need to get rid of it immediately. So as they're throwing, you can tell when you catch it, you get rid of the ball as soon as they catch it. They need to get here and get into the two position every time. Now, if you're in, you know, if you're in that first drill, they need to get into two and come back here and go one, two, and go. So you want to see what that looks like. You want to toss it. It's going to get rid of the Oops, sorry. I need to move the ball quickly. So like this. Right. As smooth as possible. The quicker they do that and the more it's reinforced, Reinforce that during um during their, their warming up drill, they warming up throwing, having them catch the ball and grab it out of quick. I call it quick hands and quick feet. So as soon as they catch it, quick hands and quick feet. Also, I'm not I'm not sure what age group you teach. A lot of these kids cannot throw these, cannot catch these balls that they're throwing. Okay, you want to teach them this right here. It's a, it's a clock that I have. So if, if the ball is right here, I want to catch it like this. If it's to the side, I'm catching it like this. Below my belt is when it turns over. A lot of kids want to try to turn it over here. They're going to lose a couple of teeth and learn. Um, it's going to be a hard lesson. But right here, now it's below my belt. Now I'm across my body. I have to turn it over, a backhand catch right here. So this this is the angle that you want to teach the kids how to catch the baseball. Um, and one more note, this is specific with the girls. We tend to, especially men, I'm sorry, but it tends to be the men. When we throw to girls,